seven. Great compassion arose from these bodhisattvas. Then empathize with all sentient beings. With the heart of compassion, they lectured on the teachings taught by example, and also imparted the Dharma eyes. They blocked all evil path and opened the door of virtuousness. They regarded all beings as themselves. They rescued and helped living beings, and shouldered the burden of helping them all cross over to the other shore. A rose means came forth. The word taught by example means to demonstrate through behavior. Lectured on means to speak the Dharma. Not only did the Bodhisattva teach with words, but they also taught by example. In imparted the Dharma eyes. Imparted means to pass on. Dharma means method of practice, and eyes is a metaphor. This metaphor refers to helping others understand the truth of all phenomena and principles, and blocked all evil path. Blocked means to prevent and be on guard, and evil path. Means the bad realms. The door of virtuousness means simply put the virtuous teachings that able that enable one to be reborn in the human or heavenly path. Sentient beings are deluded. They indulge in the five desires, which are wealth, sex, fame, food, and sleep. And the six dusts, which are pollutants of the six senses of sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, and thought, inwardly pressure pleasures, we should generate a mind of great compassion, empathize with sentient beings, and introduce the pure land method to them. Compassion and empathy must be put into action. This is enthusiastically propagating the pure land method with all our hearts. We must do our best. We must treat this task as the most important thing in this lifetime. With a heart of compassion, they lectured on the teachings. Taught by example, and also imparted the Dharma eyes. They blocked all evil path and opened the door of virtuousness. These sentences describe the method of teaching. We do not need to be on stage to expound on Buddhism, but we should do so whenever and wherever we encounter someone. We introduce Buddhism to that person in a way that is most suitable for that person. If he or she can't not accept Buddhism at all, simply say "Namo Amitabha." As the time goes by, and the person gradually understands, that person will also say "Namo Amitabha." The next time we meet, in this way. We will have accomplished our goal. <laughs> This is just one of many ways. For example, a practitioner is always happy and healthy, something everyone very much envies. If we are truly healthy and happy, others will truly ask us, "Why are you always happy?" 
We tell them because I mindfully chant the Buddha name. Practicing Buddha name chanting will lead to true happiness and good health. If they feel happy in listening to our explanation, then we are making good use of the opportunity to teach them. Taught, by example, refers to us living in a happy, satisfied, and joyful life. This is a good signboard for the Buddha's teaching. When the people see this, they will like it and will want this happiness for themselves. Hence, they will want to learn Buddhism. How does one avoid falling into the evil path? If one does not create evil karmas, naturally one will not fall into the evil path. Evil path are due many to evil thoughts. Evil thought is the cause. Evil conduct is unvirtuous karma, and bad retributions will surely follow. The law of cause and effect never fails. If we do not want to have any bad retributions, we should not have any bad thoughts. With pure and proper thoughts, we will definitely not have any bad retributions. The words open the door of virtuousness, mean urging people to end wrongdoings and to practice virtuous. Conduct. When people in wrongdoings and practice virtuous conduct, the benefit will go to them. The benefit does not involve us. Those who do this will receive the benefit. This is not that others practice and we benefit. Definitely, when we practice. We benefit. When this happens, we are proving to others that good rewards come from any wrongdoings and practicing virtuous conduct. There are people who become scared when we tell them about transcending the three realms and attaining Buddhahood. But they get happy when we talk about them becoming immensely rich and important in their next life. When we encounter such people, we should teach them the method of being born as a human or a heavenly being. There are also people who have great aspirations. They know that the three realms. Are filled with sufferings, and that even in the heavenly path, where good fortune is great and the lifespan is long, the heavenly beings will still die one day. For those people with great aspirations, their wish is to transcend. The three realms. We should teach them the methods of transcending the three realms. This is a door of great virtuousness. Frankly, the only method of practice that allows one to succeed in one lifetime is the Buddha da, Buddha name chanting method. In all my 40 plus years of learning Buddhism, this is what I have realized: the Buddha name chanting method is truly wondrous. If we introduce this to others, we are opening the door of utmost virtuousness. Nothing is more virtuous than this. They regard all beings as themselves. They rescued and helped living beings, and shouldered the burden of helping them more across over to the other shore. 
when we treat others like we would treat ourselves. That is, with no difference whatsoever. It is unconditional compassion for all others, as we are all one entity, as thought in Mahayana Buddhism. We should treat all impartially, as long as a person accepts our help, we should wholeheartedly help this person. Buddhist practitioners should have this vow. Help all beings far and wide. Uphold the proper teachings and pass on the Buddha's wisdom to future generations. <laughs> 